I'm Emily Sterling and welcome to LUTV Sports. Since 1951, Lamar and McNeese have battled on the gridiron every year until Lamar dropped football in 1989. When Saturday Night Lights came back to Beaumont, so did the Battle of the Border. Sports photographer Derek Thomas and I traveled down Interstate 10 to Lake Charles to tell the story of two universities separated by 60 miles. McNeese and Lamar have rivaled against each other for many years. However, is the rivalry as meaningful as it used to be? I think it's still very prominent, well, for at least me. I see the rivalry from the uh, perspective of a rowdy college student wanting their team to win, and cheering them on, it really helps me to engross the idea of the rivalry. And for some fans, this is their first experience with the Battle of the Border. Oh, well, hopefully we win, <laughs> but, um, I hear it's a big thing, especially since we're sending our band. So hopefully it's to be there and, well, mess up <laughs> Lamar as much as we can. With Lamar struggling their last few games, they are looking to cap off with a rivalry win. They're literally right across the border. They're only less than 60 miles away. And the fact that uh, we get to face him every year as part of the, as a 10 year tradition now, uh, we finally get to hopefully end the season on a high note and as we have the past two years. However, McNeese has a lot on the line this year. I, I believe the football team is on the break of possibly being able to go to uh, the playoffs, so I think that's going to be a big motivator for them. You can always expect a great experience, whether you're at Provost Humphrey Stadium or Cowboy Stadium for the Battle of the Border. I feel like the atmospheres are uh, both relatively similar. Uh, I feel like both schools are always trying to rope in more people, uh, and so it's always kind of interesting to see how each school is, uh, is using methods to grow, uh, and so it's, uh, it's really fun. Uh, each school has individuality, and that's what makes each of them special. With it being in Beaumont this season, Lamar is ready to push through for one last game. The record isn't as perfect as everyone wants, but uh, that doesn't mean that the quality of football isn't gonna be as great in the end. So uh, I encourage everyone to come out be loud and let's just have fun for one last game and let's go LU. Lamar volleyball coach Michelle Kuster resigned from her position last week. This comes after the Lady Cards finished 9 and 17 overall and 4 and 12 in conference. Kuster was hired on as an interim head coach after she assisted under the Lady Cards previous coach. Kuster only coached one year without the interim tag. She took to Facebook to talk about her love for the team and what is to come. Lamar is currently in a nationwide search for her replacement. With the 2020 season right around the corner, the Big Red baseball team is busy getting their bats in order. Recently, the team hosted their annual inner squad scrimmage they call the Fall World Series. LUTV sports anchor Sarah Scott went to Vincent Beck Stadium to see what you can expect from the Cardinals next year. In dramatic fashion, the Lamar men's baseball team ended their fall practices in a four-game series that split the squad against each other, the black team versus the red team. Uh, we've been inter-squatting this whole fall, and now you know, putting something on the line kind of brings up the intensity, and uh, you, know, you can see it out there. You know, guys are hustling, and it's just to prepare us basically for the spring, and it's a, it's a good way to recreate that environment. You know, any, anytime you can put a little bit more pressure and make it a little bit more like a real game, then uh, the better it is. And, uh, that's what we're doing here. After fall practice and preparation, Big Red has a pretty good grip on what to expect in their 56 game season. A very you know, offensive lineup. Uh, we have a bunch of returners from last year, uh, guys who are starting as well, and we're adding a bunch of, of new guys uh, on the mound to, to kind of complete this team. So we're, we're excited. We're, um, we're really looking forward to you know the season. We, we like our team, and I think we got a good thing going. We're excited to get them out there. And see what happens. We're ready to rock. You know, our team's finally coming to, uh, to full circle, and I feel like this year is going to be our year, and uh, I hope we get a lot of fans and everyone comes out and supports us because we're going we're gonna to shock some, some people for sure. We're excited. We're, um, we're really looking forward to, you know, the season. We know that we're going to be a good team, and we can't wait to, to show what we've got. With fall ball wrapping up and the first game of the season less than three months away, the team has high expectations for the 2020 season. Sarah Scott, LUTV Sports, Beaumont. That's it for LUTV Sports. I'm Emily Sterling, now back to Amber and Chandler.